guys JD Zero bringing you some nice and nice uh I'm sorry sorry yo what is up guys JD Zero bringing you some Pokemon podcast TSSC podcast some information on some Pokemon stuff some information on other things and whatnot. I am joined by Chaotic and how are you doing today, Chaotic? Uh, it could be better, it could be worse, to be perfectly honest. So apparently we have a situation where uh the Pokemon company did a Pokemon Direct was it last yeah. night? Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. Yesterday. During midday. Nine thirty EST. Uh. And it was around 6.30 PST. So. Yep. Early in the morning for you. Yep. Very, very early in the morning. And I I literally like watched that whole entire uh, live stream. Now. I wasn't expecting to getting these two things from the Pokemon Direct. And that's a. Uh. I guess consider a reboot to the uh, Pokemon Rescue Team. That's pretty interesting. Pokemon Rescue Team DX, which is remakes of the original Rescue Teams. Yep. Which is actually kind of interesting, to be perfectly honest, because Rescue Team was that sort of niche series. It was. I mean, it started off as a Game Boy game, and then it ended up being onto the DS. And then that was the last time we ever seen this game ever on a DS Played system. The Super Rescue Team, yeah. On the 3DS. Yeah, and then now they decided to bring it back, reboot it, give it Mega Evolutions onto the Switch. So, should be an interesting take on it. I just played it, Thank a you. little bit of it, today, because oh, the demo is out. Yeah, I played the demo a little bit, so... It was cool. <laughs> Give me in my. Now I gotta like remember what how to do a lot of things in there. So since everything is kind of a little bit different from the last time I played it. Yeah. So, so it's gonna be a very interesting thing to do on my time on the Switch. Well, yeah, and then and then they also announced. Expansion passes for Sword and Shield, which is actually kind of nice. Something that the we Pokemon all... Company we would never ever do in no. their entire life, and then they end up doing it. Well, you had to think that this was an eventuality. It was, it's like Kingdom Hearts with uh, three remind. But uh, they played the gonna... EA move, though. They did an EA move. Something that they never would have did before. So, the fact well, that they're doing the expansion DLC packs was... like that, or at least doing a DLC, is very but, interesting. Yes, it is interesting, but again, it was bound to happen. If not Sword and Shield, then Gen 9. Because everyone's moving forward with... Refer to Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind is essentially the final mix DLC. Yeah, it, that's what that was another and, situation with yeah you know, Kingdom Hearts too because Kingdom Hearts never did DLC into now. It's just like like 2019 is when they like finally got to the point of like oh hey it's 2020 we're gonna actually start doing DLCs. Wait, well, what? It, it's because they probably saw it more. They could just sell it at half price, give you all the extra content. Of a final mix, and well, there you go. Yeah, it literally seems like Instead Pokemon of, decided to follow under Kingdom Hearts for that situation. Not, I think that's actually a good move. Instead of making a, just a whole like Sword XD or whatever, yeah, Ultra because. Sword. And that, is, that was another situation because they were also like, oh, we don't have to start all over on our on a new game. We could just continue from where we left off 
on the game that we already have and just buy you know add extra content on top of that and that's like and that's and i that's an awesome thing yeah it's a really smart move on their part and then not to mention by the way they explained it if you add both the royal isle of armor and the crown both of them together would essentially just make a whole new game Pretty much. So thirty, so thirty bucks for an entire new Pokemon game's worth. Mm-hmm. I'm down for that. And then on top of it, they're gonna keep the whole version exclusive thing, which I believe it or not, most people might hate it. Most people might hate it, but I personally like the version exclusive thing because it forces you to interact with people. It does. It, it does to the point where it still seems like okay. Well, you're still gonna have to do trades, no matter what the situation is. You're still gonna have to and trade with other what people. Pokemon was in its roots. It was one of the yeah. very first Game Boy games to utilize the link cable. So, it's like yes, yeah, you're gonna get the extension pack. We still gonna have different Pokemon appear up in these extension packs. So if you really want to have this version of that Pokemon in your game, you're going to have to trade with someone else who has that version of that Pokemon in their games. Yeah. And then, and then what's even cooler is they're bringing more than just... And it's cool, but at the same time, it really shows Sword and Shield's flaws because they're bringing, like, Gigantamax starters. They're bringing... Well, not really uh, that much of a flaw is just the fact that again no no like they're showing all these ideas and i can understand where people are coming from it either makes it seem like a they planned sword and shield to be as empty as it is for these dlcs or b it it just shows like they could have done so much more with it or they made Sword and Shield had every had every means to actually add DLC regardless and add 200 plus more Pokemon on top of that but since they were like getting all this backlash about the fact that there were Pokemon that were in there in the first place they weren't able to explain Oh, this is what we're trying to do. And then, and then and now right. we're just going to leave you guys with a mystery. Are we going to have it? Are we not going to have it? Are we going to have yeah. extra and, Pokemon into and, this? Are we not going to have extra and, Pokemon into it? And then, and bam, and all in, Pokemon Direct. Yeah, and all in all, it, you're right. It could be. They could have just geared it to give us a Pokemon game that can last way longer than all the others. In order for them to actually build Generation 9 to what veterans and newcomers expect the na- a game like Pokemon to be. And because uh, it just seems funny that they're bringing these mass mansions with new dens, new Pokemon. A, a bigger legends wild return. area. A more mass, yeah, you're right. Like a more massive wild area, uh, new legendaries, everything. But it's there's just one flaw to all this that I hope, well, one expectation mm. that got dropped, in my opinion. And the Gen Eight, it's a Gen Nine. No, no, no pan. It, here's the thing about uh, I feel like they're gonna do the same thing for Gen Nine, but well, no. The thing it, is, was... I feel like what this situation is, they're gonna eventually do the the remake for uh, Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl, and that's probably yeah. not gonna be into 2021. That will be the next game that they're gonna 
uh, eventually do. Now, yes. other people say like, well, I have a friend that also said like, well, maybe they'll just they'll give us another expansion pack for Sword and Shield. I no, highly they, doubt that. Now, they I don't think they will milk that even them. more because if they milk that, well, it's gonna make the game even like even more lackluster to really deal with it. Yes, they, there needs they, to be some other information about other Pokemon in the game that they still haven't released. That's fine. That could always be in the update for the extension pack. Well, yeah, and that's what I'm hoping the expansion pass is going to explain. They hyped up Meltan and Melmetal. Exactly. Right? And everyone already knew it was supposed to be Gen 8. Exactly. You know, we all we all came to terms that it was one of the only legendaries that evolved. Exactly. We all came in And technically terms. it's a mythical legendary on top of that. So it's it's yes. supposed to be in the game regardless. Like Magirna is the mythical for Gen seven. And then you and have uh what was the other Pokemon that came a little bit late in generation seven that's supposed to be maybe considered Marshado a Gen eight Pokemon? And Marshadow and Zerazora. Yeah. Zeraora. Zeraora was another Pokemon that was like a late Mon in Gen 7 that seemed like it could have been a Gen 8 Pokemon instead of a Gen 7 Pokemon. So, maybe we might have something for more information about Zeraora because it seems like that would be more of a Generation 8 Pokemon entirety. But Marshadow, Marshadow seems like it's still going to be a more of a Gen 7 Generation Seven Pokemon because of the way how well, it's Well, Marshadow, featured. Marshadow itself, it, its lore gets explained from its move, the Seven Palm Strike. Yeah, I think it's what it's called, because the Seven Palm Strike itself literally turns into a Z symbol. Exactly. So I mean, so it, that already ties it to Generation, generation seven. seven. Yeah, but uh, Zeraora. Maybe they, maybe what Game Freak should do is at least mention their aura in the Isle of Armor with the dojo because it seems like it would be a Pokemon that would train with that new legendary. True. You see where I'm getting at? Definitely true. Uh, but uh, hmm. the new legendary for the Isle of is pretty sweet with its dual style. It is, it is, it really is. And the fact that it can Gigantamax, too. It's like, well, okay, sweet, because all the other legendaries you gave us are jack crap with Dynamaxing. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, it's really not that bad. It just... Well, no, that's... they do compensate by giving Behemoth Bash, Behemoth Blade, and Dynamax Cannon. No, but... And I'm all right with it, but... At the same time, it kind of left a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth because here's the legendaries, and yet you can't even use the same mechanics on them. Uh, I mean, technically, I feel like with those particular legendaries, the the new legendaries that we have, the fact that they don't have a Dynamax or a Gigantamax is probably because they eventually are eventually gonna get one. No, I mean, but then it seems like it's too much for it because it already seems like they're already overpowered, regardless. See. But then they uh, also say mean, like previous. They also said previous uh, legendaries are gonna get Dynamax. So. Well, I mean, they do have to compensate because uh, the three legendaries of Sword and Shield are literally designed to beat down a Dynamax. Yeah. That is true. Do do? That's why I'm saying they're I, like. I under- I understand it, and that's why I said, like, it, it's good, but at the same time, it that's that's why with these new legendaries, it's it relieves the pain a little bit, pain a little bit of it. Thank you, Princess. Mm-hmm. Because 
these the old legendaries can dynamax, which is cool. Like, okay, you know, make up for the other three. But come on. After fighting Eternius, you, you just want to have that five-headed dragon. Well, Eternius, but here's the thing, because I feel like the way they presented right. Eternius, that seems like an, an OP broken mon as is Dynamax form. It seems or consider a G uh, a Gigantamax, Gigantamax form because the way because the way they presented the like the HP and whatnot and all the stats for it, it's it broken. It's straight up yeah. broken. It's straight up broken where that does not need to exist at all. So the only time you're going to ever see that particular form is during a story play. You're only going to be able to get it in a story play. You're in, that's I, the only I way know, you're going to be dealing but, with it. No one needs to be dealing with something like that. Unless you're talking about the whole situation <laughs> with, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's that one Pokemon in Generation 7 that we had to deal with that was an issue? Uh, oh, turn to Cosma. Yeah. The truth, the Krasma, the 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 ray of the light, light cro the Krasma. It's like, yes, it may look like it's OP, but at least the stats are. You can oh, somehow no, you can somehow take on could, it, and then, then it sounds like they need to done. buff down the stats for that one. Yeah, just to what, use it. That's that's what they should have done with. Uh, Attorney is saying like let you let you Gigantamax it to the five headed dragon, but since it's such little Dynamaxing energy, it doesn't grow OP. But then it's again this is also playing into the fact that since it's they're gonna have to yeah, also do the same on. thing for like again for other legendaries that are still even though these are meant to technically take on. Dynamax and G Max Pokemon, they're gonna still have to say like, oh, well, let's give a G Max version of the two legendary dogs just because and we also have to still buff down the stats. Well well we all know we all know uh Mewtwo is getting a G Max. There's it no could happen. It. it could happen because it's the, a the fan favorite. Are, it the could chances happen. are so likely because which one and then that the legendaries got a mega evolution? Two of them, in fact. Yes, he did get two mega evolutions. That is true. But even then, you also had Charizard who had two Mega Evolutions. And it finally got a yes. G-Max Evolution and a Dynamax Evolution. And well, just a G-Max. Well, you could still Dynamax it. Well, or like yeah, if you had a regular Charizard, you could Dynamax yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But so, again, you still have two forms of yeah. you know, Charizard. Again, you're still having to deal with the fact that this Pokemon had to deal with getting four different forms. Oh. Not only that, a legendary Pokemon uh, can eventually do the same thing. Second. Give me a second. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit sick, too. Just kind of getting over it. Just a bit. Just a bit. bit. Um... Let's see. What else? Let's see. There's a lot more stuff of things that I also want to like get off my chest. Um, before uh, Chaotic does come back, we also are going to eventually start a doing a little cup. Uh, Wi-Fi battles again. We're gonna start doing because uh, this is gonna be like an update as well. We're also gonna be doing Little Cup. I just posted all over uh, Pokemon Amino that we're gonna be doing Little Cup battles. We're gonna be doing Little Cup streams. Uh, 
can't wait to give you guys that stuff again and bring that back to our channel because that's what mostly made our channel grow doing those type of battles right, so back. we're gonna do that okay so chaotic gets back and we're gonna I continue heard you're gonna try and do little cup yeah uh but the difference between doing the little cup now is basically we don't have to worry about the whole EV training or how perfect IVs are basically Oh, so you're just gonna do natural bread? Yeah, it's just it's a friendly competition. Straight, either you could do like you could still bring egg moves, you could still bring one hit KO <laughs> moves. Uh, the only thing it is still considered ban will be the uh, the Sonic Boom and Dragon Rage. Dragon, yeah, Dragon Rage. It has yeah, to be those those two it, moves are still banned. Basically, because Dragon Rage was a set HP depletion. Yeah, and a it's a hundred accuracy as well. Yeah. Uh, fun fact: Slow Galarian Slowpoke is not shiny lock. Yeah, uh, a couple of people already presented it on Patterns Twitter. Got it. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, "Oh, cool! I can achieve this. No time, no problem." Oh. While waiting for uh, the expansions. Yeah, we, we can get like shiny evolutions. So that's yeah. cool. Also, going back to the now expansion pass. Uh -huh. The Galarian birds. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Don't, I will fight anyone who... Straight you know, up amazing. It's track. straight up amazing. I... 100% accept. And... Lugia. Especially the Lugia. Lugia one. I saw one and I was like, yep, that's Lugia. Okay, if you're done. Drink your juice. That Lugia, man. Oh my gosh. And then, like, like, if anything, like, all the Pokemon that they did, I mean, they didn't show every single Legendary, so I don't think every Legendary is going to still be no, there. No, all cause... the ones that are, all the ones that can... All, it's going to be most, if not all, minus mythicals. Yeah, because I didn't see any of the mythical Pokemon there. That kind of sucks for my Jirachi, but hey, it is what it is. You could bring uh, Zekrom, Reshirami, and Kiram over. Come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that just gives uh, you like a winning team. Plus, Solgaleo and Lunala. I kind of wish I didn't give my ex my 3DS, but, yeah, well, here we are. Yep. So, that's, again, that's the sucky thing about when Pokemon Home comes out. I will be able to trade over some of my mythical Pokemon. And, again, it's like, it sucks, but regardless, we're still going to get all these other legendary Pokemon. And a lot of people mm. are super happy about is Lender is, is coming back to the game. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, but hear me out, hear me out. Okay. What was one of the main legendaries used in v, uh, in competition? VGC? It's mostly Lenders. And it's in known that Lenders is mostly used in VGC. Yep. So the fact that that That's shit is coming you... back, oh my god. Yeah, it's it's. I think that was that was a dumb idea, Game Freak. I really think that was a dumb idea to do. But at the Make same time, one of the everyone... baddest Pokemon come back into the fucking game. Yeah. Exactly. And have more people complain. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but and then, I do have to say, G Max Blastoise looks amazing, right? Great. Exactly. Yeah. Stormtrooper Blastoise will be super excited for that, knowing the fact that I know. there's a like G Max Blastoise. And that he, you know, what's funny? Yeah. 
They technically confirmed Pokemon Gun. In a way, they, it, it literally made it, it literally when when they pronounced when they showed like the G Max uh, evolutions for uh, Atelion and the other Real two. Boom and Cinder, right? It's just like wait, let's look back at Atelion. Wait, is that a harpoon? What? Wait, what? What the fuck no. is going on? It's and a, it, it's it literally. literally it's literally a gun barrel that it attaches to its finger. Exactly. Like, I mean, they made it still to the point where it's like, oh, it doesn't look like a gun, but it's still a gun barrel. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a gun barrel attached to its finger because it exactly. shoots out jets of water from its fingertips. Its na its signature move is literally snipe shot. Exactly. And now the fact that we're going to get, like, another G-Max water move for it, it's going to be even, like, It'll probably insane. be G-Max night shot. It probably would. Or some type of interesting way of how they're going to, like, present it where it's, like, it still seems like it's not, you know, targeting as a bad way of gun play on you know their Pokemon yeah. game franchise so they'll they'll figure it out they'll figure it out I do like the expanding the rivals and the fact that your rival changes depending on play oh that yeah I know we're getting like two extra new people that we're gonna just be like basically training with on top of that and then you get to deal with the guy who's is technically one of the masters of the ch previous champion who also been a previous champion himself like I thought that was kind of cool because it gives it a little more history yeah and it gives a little bit more detailed backstory of the game even more where it's like oh mm -hmm. there was a champion before champion Leon okay cool and awesome. this champion trained Leon, even though we stomped all over him. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like champion <laughs> Leon in the, the like the the battle tower seems a little bit more easier than the you know Pokemon League <laughs> Leon. So oh, kind of no, weird. No, 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 Pokemon League Leon, fully stomped him. I'm gonna use my G Max. Sorry. Okay. Dynamax is Inteleon. Boom. Done. I mean, like, the first about... round, though. The first round of it, it seemed like it made it seem like it way much easier than the, like, the Balotar. The Balotar makes it seem a little bit much easier to deal with than when you first time gets Leon in a league battle situation. Well, to be fair, to be fair, I, my Inteleon was foreign, so he kept gaining boosted XP. Ah, uh, so hard work you know. and training, and then you you kind of skipped it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like when I went and fought Master Xehanort in Kingdom Hearts, and with the ultimate weapon, I DM skipped him. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, uh, seriously, I I I just was like, get that crap out of here. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> I wish I recorded it. It was awesome. I literally DM skipped him. You know when they, when he does like the thirteen thrones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't see that at all the second time I faced him. That's wild. Mhm. Mm and uh, there's also the whole uh, Galarian uh, Reggie's apparently. Oh, oh, uh, no, I don't think they're Galarian. You know, technically, they are seeing they're from Galar. Yeah. But they're not Galarian form. They're literally adding three more Reggies. So you just say that they're, they're technically different Reggies. There are extra Reggies that were in different areas that are not technically... Galar versions of the original three because they're they just, still have the original three because they still have the original three yeah 
But so there's... it seems like there's a but, uh, a Reggie Fire, Reggie Electric, and I forget what the third one is. But uh, this. But if they just... do that, that kind of like defeats the purpose of the whole Zapdos, uh, Vultures, and Articuno situation. Because they could have, they could have, they could apply the same concept for those two because they and, considered those new Pokemon legendary. And and the Galarian Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres are legit Galarian forms. Like Moltres looks like it could be either Ghost Fire or Dark Fire. Yeah. Zapdos looks like it could be like Ground Electric or yeah. Ground Flying. And then Articuno looks like there's a sliver of a chance it might be a Lugia scenario. Where it's basically a psychic flying or a psychic ice. One of the yeah. two. Yeah. And then it doesn't even look like it. And it's probably going to be a water flying type. Yeah. Because I highly doubt they're going to change Lugia that much. I think they're all going to keep their base typing, fire, electric, ice, and psychic. No, Lugia's was more fl flying. It was, it was psychic flying for uh, Lugia. Yeah, Lugia but never had a water flying. type. I wish Lugia did have a water type, but they're like, nah, we're not going to give it a water type. Even yeah, though, uh, Lugia, Lugia was even though the whole concept type. behind Lugia is basically about water, it never was a water mm -hmm. type. Same thing with the Charizard. They basically did the same thing with Charizard onto a legendary Pokemon and decided like, hey, it may look like a dragon, but it's not a dragon. It's a fire flying type. It's a fire lizard with flying capabilities. Same thing with Lugia. Just yeah. a psychic type with flying abilities. Yes, it has everything to do with water, but we're not gonna give it the water type. There's and no need for it. Right. Even though it does have everything to do with water, we're not gonna give it water. Yeah. It can have it, moves, it, but we're not gonna make it a water type. Yeah. And, and but I do have to say. Galarian Slowbro looks like it's going to be a ghost type. It looks like a ghost type, but it it seems like they're going to make it a ghost psychic. Uh, no, like, I mean, like, it's pure either going ghost? To be, no, 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 no. It's either going to be a psychic ghost or psychic poison. Because Galarian Slowpoke knows acid. True. But it's pure psychic as a psychic take Pokemon. It's true. It could be pure psychic. It's, but well, the no, thing no, no, here, it's, here's another thing. Because I'm, I'm starting to try to figure out the situation with uh, Galar uh, Slowpoke because there's some movesets on Galar <laughs> Slowpoke that I was not expecting on a Slowpoke because this thing has like different ways of setting this Pokemon up. Uh... Oh. And it seems like it's probably more of a physical Pokemon than a special Pokemon. But well, you can still set it up for a special set. It just the, Slowpoke seems more physical than ever before. Yeah, so what I think it might be, I think it Slow Bro, which is a more physical build, mm -hmm. is going to be they could do this. It's only speculation. Everyone, just speculation. Don't take my word. That's fact. Slow bro, Galarian Slowbro will be psychic poison because poison's more oriented with physical. Yeah. And Slow King will be uh, psychic and ghost. To deal with the special. Mm-hmm. True. And the reason why I really kind of like prefer. If this does go the way it goes. Because Slowpoke does get Belly Drum as an egg move. 
it does get cursed naturally by level up. I guess by the level up, but it's also it's like level one move. Mm -hmm. So it it automatically gets cursed. But the fact that you could teach it belly drum on top Nine. of it or like breathe belly drum on top of it, it's like mm -hmm. this thing has like two boosting st uh, set moves. Yeah. And usually those are like two, those are like at least two physical set step boosts. So it's like that's cool. It's really more on the physical side. It does get calm mind. It does get all this like defensive type you know, special whatever setups. But the fact that it gets two extinctive physical moves for it, it's like how how would you run a slow bro? Uh you would probably run it with uh, belly drum curse. Uh because curse gives you defense. Yeah, you only have Zen Headbutt for your physical psychic move. You could probably get a physical poison type move. It probably like would Venoshock. be poison jab. Uh, or Venoshock. Or is Venoshock special? I think Venom. Is this. It? You know what? I don't know. I have to, like, look at that. I don't know either. I think it would be. Uh, shoot, is it. Is it freaking poison? Is it really physical or is it po or is it special? Um, I would say Venom Shock might be a special. I'm just going off of on top of my head. It might be special. Well, I'm looking it up now. Okay. Uh. Yeah, Venom Shock's special. Okay, so. Technically, you won't be able to run run that then on a physical attacker like that. You know. Uh, no, else? no. What other physical moves? Again, yeah, it's either a Zen head, but a poison jab is the only physical move that it will probably be able to learn. But poison um, jab's pretty good. Poison Jab is good because you can get the uh, uh, chest of poison, poison payout, and which is kind of good in the long run. It's kind of good, but I still Maybe wouldn't you... know how I feel about it at the same time because. Well, I mean, with uh, belly drum and uh, put your hands on here. I keep I keep forgetting that this Pokemon is no longer in this fucking Pokedex too. And that's another thing about this. This is like a Pokemon that's not even in the Pokedex at all. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to Until go the to Gen passes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go Nami, to Nami, can you stop playing in the What other music can get that maybe a physical type though? Um okay. another other move that's physical poison. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's see. We have. Oh, because that's spell. Do, 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 do. Oh, My daughter well. literally just fell over half coffee. Oh well. Oh well, indeed. Oh. Oh, went back to Gen 8. Ha <laughs> It's like, wait, you find in Gen 7, you have to go back to Gen 8. <laughs> so you can get all the other information there. Yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, it gets like another like special type of what's it called? It's called it starts with a B, bleach, bleach or whatever you call it. It's like another mm -hmm. poison type move that's technically a special move as well as like a hundred and twenty special move. And again, that's kind of good for a special situation, but physically not so much. Yeah. Type, you know, that this Pokemon could have to learn. It's really nothing. There's nothing. There's no physical point to move that it can learn. Wow. Alright. Okay. Cool. I guess. So, 
Yeah, like the only physical move would probably stab will be zip button. Yeah. It's kinda lame. It didn't even get poison jab, which it would have been great to get poison jab, but maybe evolution it'll probably get poison jab. Yeah. And that's where probably more physical moves from. Is when it's to the evolution state. Yeah. Other than that, everything pretty much between hits the no. ball. Oh, it's a stone. Get off it. You're not supposed to be on the TV stand. Stop. Mm -hmm. Off the TV stand, please. Which sucks right now. The ability that I want so bad will be the generator ability. Regenerator? Yeah. I mean, it got. Yeah. Like, O Temple and, like, uh. Gluttony is not a bad ability. But I would like to have maybe that hidden ability, Richard. But it mm -hmm. is what it yeah. is. Yeah. Because out of the two abilities that it currently has, it's good. Because again, like I said, but the whole belly drum would make set. It so much better. Yeah, it would be so much better. But like I said, you also have the fact that belly drum slow, you know, slow bro, will be pretty nice with the gluttony ability to just like eat a berry and you get maybe a full health right back or have a full health back anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have the fact of if you had a uh, old temple, uh, slow bro, there's no stats get drop. Your stats don't drop whatsoever because it kind of ignores stat mm -hmm. drop. Yeah. From a Pokemon, so it's like that's also a plus. Mhm. Mm and you can still get like a belly drum and then still deal as much damage you want. Yeah. Uh, and then if someone tried to like do like uh what was it called? Swagger and Norse Swagger and then you get like a plus boosted of attack off a of swagger. Yep. <coughs> so no cleft key please for me. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, just, there's a lot you could do with it. It's just like. We'll see what happens when. Oh, the man. DLC I was that trolly kind of person back in X and Y with the freaking prankster cleft key. Mm hmm. <laughs> you remember that, JD, huh? Yeah. Paralysis, swagger. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> But it was such a glass cannon strategy because you could kill it in yeah. a couple hits as long as it doesn't smack you first, then you're dead. Exactly. <laughs> and I was, I did it mainly for the memes. Mm -hmm. I'm the bad guy. Let's see. Yeah. Is there anything else? Uh. What do you think about the other new layer? The one with the ginormous freaking bulb on its head. You know, it kind of reminded me of Curse to Carry Dogs, uh, the fortune teller. Mm hmm. I kind of want to name you know it, it. I kind of want to name it after that. From you know Curse what it kind of rem reminded me? What? A deerling on steroids. 
a dearly on steroids, but probably like towards the head area. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. Like, honestly, <laughs> it's right. fucking insane because it's like, <laughs> if they like, if you look at the legendary Pokemon, uh, was it Xerneas or whatever? Like, yeah. be like, what happened? What happened to your body? It got small. What happened to your head? It got big. What's going on? What's life? <laughs> How? What, what's going on? Not only that, you also look like probably part rabbit. What's, what's really going on with yourself? Like, the fuck <laughs> is going on? Yeah, yeah. It, 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 for real, though. Like, you're laying on steroids, but the steroids went horribly wrong. Yeah, like, <laughs> you just end up getting into a fusion. <laughs> Like it, yep. se it seems like dearly fused with a rabbit that shouldn't even like technically exist at this moment. No, it seems like there's been like no, it's three Pokemon that fused together. So it was Deerling, some type of rapid Pokemon, and then some other flying type Pokemon end up fusing with each other, and well, that's no, what you get. See, no, no, it's Ding, uh, Score Bunny. And, uh, the one, the Ultra Sun and, or the Sun and Moon Mushroom, the second evolution. Uh. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Like, all three of them fused. <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. It's so weird still, it's like. I mean, it's a cool Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. It's Grass Psychic. Yeah. So, it's like, it's good. But I really want to see how good it is. Especially since it's a Pokemon that's considered one of the king legendary Pokemon. Well, and not only that, but how is that times four weakness, weakness against poison helping out? Yeah, true. But we don't know what the movesets are. So... We don't even know what the ability of this Pokemon does. So it's like, maybe it may be a four times weakness, but we might get something out of this. We might get something that's get that's viable for it, where it can ignore its weakness. And like so, how, uh, like how, uh, it comes along. basically like how, um, like, you know how like wheezing has a weakness for earthquakes. Oh, mm -hmm. I gave you levitate. You can just ignore that. You don't have no weakness to ground type moves. How silly! But you do have a weakness to other <laughs> moves. So I'm pretty yeah, sure they're gonna do the give, same thing with that. Just give something for the times four, but keep all the times two. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I can see. That's I wish they could have did that. that. I wish that I wish they did that to Charizard with its time four weakness to Stone Edge. Uh. Uh. I mean, that was the whole point of the Mega Evolution, it wasn't it? Like, oh hey, we're just gonna make you a part dragon for your second Mega Evolution. Give you that weakness to Rock type. Fairy. But then we give you weakness to Fairy. Yeah. Which is kind of like, it's like saying, oh, we're going to chop down your weakness to rock types, but we're just going to give you two other extra fucking weaknesses. Two, yeah. Which is not that bad, but still it's like, eh. Now you're back to being four time weakness to rock. So, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Gigantamax, you can boost its health up very considerably, so. <laughs> so there is that. Yeah. <coughs> the best thing that you ever did, though, the best thing, Fat Pikachu. Oh, Fat Pikachu. Fucking Fat <laughs> Pikachu. I, I steam the Fat Pikachu. <laughs> Which is kind of good, again. I don't mind Fat Pikachu, if you want to but drink, it's over there. It's an original Pikachu, and it's it's fine. It's cool. I'm still not as a big fan to Pikachu as everybody else is. It's like it's an overrated Pokemon. No, I just like the cam cameo Gen One. It's like I know it's like Katie.
dedicating to that particular program, but it's like, uh, yeah, still focusing on the main Scott of your like entire company. I get it. I'm not with it though. Just can give us one and other and Pokemon. Plates. Like, can we just make other Pokemon feel special today? Can we just make other Pokemon feel special today? Uh, anything else? I know I have some other stuff here to talk about too. Uh, I don't know, because the expansion packs are going to be lasting into June and July. I mean, June all the way to fall that's somewhere in November area we have at least mm -hmm. I mean we won't get these expansion packs into those months anyway so it's like it's a long wait but again this is the reason why we're probably not going to get any new games to them because of the fact that we got these extension packs yeah. uh, and again there's no way they're gonna milk it even more and pinning a third extension pack on top of that because again, like 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 we both just said, it's probably gonna come up with another update to add more stuff into Sword and Shield anyway, to not really add an a third extension pack to it. And then mm -hmm. other than that, if it's an update, it's probably gonna give us like other like G Max uh Pokemon anyway and that's pretty much it. Cause that's honestly the all they yeah. can do now is just pit G Max Pokemon that we haven't had before. They're not gonna See. add they're not gonna add other extra new Pokemon. It's just gonna there's, be nothing but G Max or there's Dynamax an interesting Pokemon. there's an interesting theory going around about the next Pokemon game being in the Diamond and Pearl remakes because of one particular item that can be found in one of the cities. Well, it's not only that. It's the fact that they brought most of Gen 4 Pokemon back regardless for those extension packs that makes it seem like Gen 4 is going to be guaranteed well, a remake yeah. going into the next but, year. But, uh... I don't know if m most of your people know this, unless they watch people like their keeper Toby, but you can actually find the pixie plate. In True, Shield. you could find the pixie plate. I forgot about that. And there's only one Pokemon that can effectively use the pixie plate. And guess what? The extension pack showed that Pokemon too. It's, wait, Arceus is yeah. coming. I then we can't rule out mythicals. Well, technically, Arceus, Arceus is not a mythical. Myth, it's not a mythical Pokemon. It's a legendary Pokemon. It's the Alpha Legendary Pokemon. It's supposed to be part mythical. of the main trio of the. Well, well I guess more Quad. Well, he's the he's the Quad Pokemon, to Generation Four. But he's yeah. not considered the mythical Pokemon for it's Shaman and Darkrai. Yeah, it's Shaman, Darkrai, the Cresselia. Cresselia, yeah. Uh, what was the other one? It was the uh, Jirachi. I thought Jirachi was Gen Four. No, I, Jirachi I is Gen Three. Board. Jirachi is Gen um, Three. Gen 3. <clears throat> you know how long it's been since I've had to memorize which gen uh, each Pokemon comes from? I believe and Manaphy you know I mean? and Fion is Gen 4. Four. Yeah, that's right, because of the whole Pokemon Rangers. Yeah, because there was a lot of mythical Pokemon that they had to add in Gen 4. Which is no. like, you have a lot of... No. You have... Like, you have like Not the four... Yours. You have the four main legendary Pokemon, and then you had all these extra mythicals off to the side, basically. Yeah, plus the Pixie Trio. Plus the Pixie Trio, again. That, Gen I mean, Ford again, they were. Legendary. That's a lot of legendaries. So. 
and knowing the fact that that the Pixie Trio is going to be in Sword and Shield, regardless. It's almost like, um, you're right, because it seems like, it's almost like, um, Atlas, Atlas, an LA game developer, conveniently mm -hmm. making 3D models for Persona 3 Dancing, even though they said they had no plans to remaster Persona 3, it just seems off. Yeah, doing uh, again, now. it's like they're trying to mislead you, but you know, there's going to be a, a freaking remake. There's probably going to be something new coming out. They're going to have the character in there. They 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 probably planted ahead events. It's just like, they don't want you to obviously know that you're doing it, but it's going to be happening. You just need to, like, be surprised no, okay for, for it. Yeah, it, it it just it's funny because like I said, Persona Three Dancing, there it's like you okay, you have the three D models, just remake the maps now. <laughs> yeah, but then you have the fact that fans want to say that to the developer and like, well, we're trying to do this at our own time in our own you know. Yeah, because they're currently do they're currently. Um, doing the release for Persona 5 Royal, and then Persona 5 Scramble is about to come out to the West too. Again, and then you have all this extra stuff again. Got to deal with this and that, yada yada yada. PR and whatnot. And then, again, this Which, is the whole situation with again where a lot of people are complaining about the fact that why did they now uh, want to add all this go. extra Pokemon into this? Uh, DLC when it's like thank you they said that they didn't have like the because uh, it wasn't like it's not, not like the Nintendo said or like the Pokemon company said that they didn't Go. have the resources to put these Pokemon in here because yeah. it's like they said like it seems like they said oh we could put the 3D models in here it's no problem it's not that hard to do it, but again, mm -hmm. to redo the model itself is the main issue because yeah. we're not going to use the, what's you call it, the sun and moon models because why would Even anybody use the sun and moon models? There's no reason for us to use the sun and moon models. We try to give you a better 3D model. So you but saying that the data miners, it they are reusing models. Yeah, they are reusing models. That is true. But again, it's like to transfer that three D model into a open world game concept and try to do all that for about eight hundred plus Pokemon. Do you really need that? Yeah, true. No, and would that take the game even longer to make? Yeah. yeah. So, would you try to say you would wait maybe not a year? You may wait two years afterwards try to get a new Pokemon game to come in. I don't think they try to do that, especially again, like they said, they're on a time period, and Pokemon the show has to come out. Merchandise has to come out. Mm -hmm. They have to get the game out every single year. So, for them to do what they do makes sense because of the fact that they have card games, they have merchandise, they have a show to run constantly. And every new show is a new generation game. Every new show has to do with a remake of set generation mm -hmm. game so and this is probably another reason why we're not going to get generation four yet is because the new series just started with sword and shield mm -hmm. and eventually we're going to get to that point in the series where they're going to get into generation four pokemon and that's probably not mm -hmm. into next year where the new generation four Pokemon are gonna be re 
do in next year as a reboot with new stuff going into that Generation 4 remix. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to have to do with the show getting a new spinoff of what's going to be happening for the new season for that generation mm -hmm. for Sword and Shield that have to do with Generation 4. And it's all planned out for a set reason. Again, everybody wants Pokemon all yeah. there. And they can't have that. Mm -hmm. And again, like they said, there's balance. A game needs to be balanced out. If you don't want a balanced game, fine. You'll get a balanced game. But then you're going to get a trash game regardless. So you want a trash game and have people use the same Pokemon all over again without giving a much of a variety of challenges with set Pokemon or get a balanced out game where not a lot of Pokemon you're going to see with that same set of Pokemon over and over again and the on the league the uh -huh. uh, the main front runner of championship leagues all the fucking time and I mean mm -hmm. that's another problem because the tapus are a thing and online doubles as well and mm -hmm. that always been a thing so like that's another Pokemon that you don't want to see there but oh, they're gonna make their way back once the new uh, DLC comes out. Yay! Awesome. Like even when Pokemon Home comes out, we're not gonna be able to use most of these Pokemon. Not until the DLC comes out. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people forgot about that too, because knowing the fact that most of these Pokemon that are gonna be eventually in the game, we're still not gonna be able to use until the DLC comes out for these Pokemon. Yeah. So even though we're going to get Pokemon Home in February, we're still not going to get Squirtle. We're still not going to get any of these other starters. We're still not going to get any of these other legendaries that you guys presented to us in the uh, trailer because the DLC is not out yet. Even though you gave us Pokemon Home. So that means. Th there's going to be an update again. When the DLC comes out. For our Pokemon Home. To even allow us to use the Pokemon. In the game itself. Mm -hmm. Which. I'm trying to figure out. Is there going to be another competition. Between that time. And that's why they're doing it. Maybe. Because that's another, another again, another reason why they are really, really strict on the balance of the game right now. It's because the reason why they're not doing it, like, they're not announcing the DLCs earlier. Like, they're not releasing the DLCs way earlier than, than they, they're supposed to. It's because they're trying to do a championship battle between that time. Mm -hmm. And then they'll release all the other Pokemon. And they'll be like, okay, now we could get to the point of starting up a new game. And then, again, we're going to have, like, so, such and such Pokemon. We're going to give you the legendaries again, blah, 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 blah. We're going to probably add a, two more legendaries to whatever that you haven't got out of the... Generation 8 is going to be on Generation 4. So any mythical Pokemon that weren't in Sword and Shield will be in Generation 8. I mean in Generation 4. And then whatever uh, the same type of Pokemon that were mythical wasn't in Generation 8 will be in Generation 9 that could connect with Generation 4. Because they have the same set of mythical Pokemon that wasn't in Generation 8. <laughs> Which is, again, good. But a lot of people might get a little bit mad about. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. It's 
it is what it is. People are gonna have their <gasps> yay, and people are gonna have their yo, nay. yo, yeah. I know you haven't played this yet, or you probably never will. But the Near Automata soundtrack is now on Spotify. The what? Near Automata. A game that came out like a couple years ago. The uh, one with the Ghibli? No, that's Nino Kuni. Oh, okay. Uh, Nino Automata is with the androids that I started streaming 100% for and then kind of stopped when all that crap happened. Okay, yeah, I wasn't watching the stream that you are having on that. Yeah, now, Nier is actually a really good game. I would recommend it. Just like Persona. <laughs> I mean, per see, me and Persona is like a love or hate situation. I like the verses instead of like the like storyboard for it, basically. So if you're gonna give me Persona 4, I'd rather play a versus Persona 4, or any mm -hmm. persos, you know, Persona game that basically has to have to do with a versus. Get I'll play it, name. but I wouldn't play it for the story because it doesn't seem mm -hmm. like I would enjoy the story. Persona 5 story is amazing, though. I wouldn't enjoy the the gameplay. Mm -hmm. For me, I would just wouldn't enjoy the gameplay because it you looks like enjoy a it. it it's the same thing with the whole Dragon Ball Z situation. It looks like a good fighting game for a fighting character's story arc for it. It just seems like a good fighting game, period. But I wouldn't fighting. like to like venture out as a character yeah. and do stuff in that particular fashion yeah. when you know this game is supposed to be meant for fighting. In general, yeah. Well, Persona Five is the, the and JRPG. Again, so. yes, yeah. Persona Five is just it's straight for that, and I get it. This is why I didn't play it, and because you don't want to play games for the story. And I don't want to play that particular game for story. I rather play it for fighting, and I rather see how the characters are in a fighting aspect than see them in a role-playing aspect I mean I don't mind role-playing games because I play a lot of role-playing games it's just this looks like a game that could be just for fighting I mm -hmm. really prefer that a fighting game than a role-playing game the same thing with the new Kakarot game that's coming out I would have preferred that being another fighting game not a uh, RPG game yeah, but it it's, it's there, and I know I'm not gonna play it. So it is yeah. what it is. Oh, did yeah. you you pre-order the uh the the DLC right? For remind the no for the the extension pack. No, not yet. Oh, cause you get like two new uh, uniforms. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you just like you gotta. You, so once you like, I guess pre-order the the uh, the DLC, it basically tells you you could put in these two codes in your mystery gift to getting these two uniforms. Ah, that's nice. So these two uniforms is like a Pikachu uniform and an Eevee uniform. I'm guessing because of Let's <laughs> Go, basically. Yeah. The uniforms are alright. I I wish it could have been like something better, but it's like, oh, you're still gonna like. Hey, if you mm -hmm. haven't like played Eevee or pick yo, uh, you should play. Let's go. <laughs> should play. Yeah. Let's go. You should play. Let's go. Here's some uniforms <laughs> from Let's Go. This is 
Like I said, it's yeah. all right, but it's not like. It seems more like advertisement. It looks like, yeah, it just looks like more just for advertisement purposes. Uh, other than that, uh, pretty much it. It's pretty much it. I mean, I don't know when I'm going to be doing some, uh, Little Cup stuff. I really don't know. I'm kind of more like waiting on thumbnails. Mm. Uh, I already got a lantern. You should do it. I got Lenter working on thumbnails for me, so... You should do, uh... Dynamax Pikachu. I don't have, uh... I don't have, uh... Gigantamax... I don't have Gigantamax Pikachu. No. No, a Dynamax Pikachu. A Dynamax Pikachu? Yeah. It would look so cute because it tries to look so intimidating. Uh... <laughs> I don't know because see here's the thing I don't think I'm gonna allow Dynamax be a thing in well no it it could be it, but it could just be your little mascot thing just be like because it looks so cute because it's trying to be so intimidating yeah it would look intimidating but again like like for like you don't want to be clickbaity I don't want to be clickbaity and it's like oh is that on your team like not necessarily, it's not on my team. Dang. And then it's like, it's also saying that, uh, so you're going to be doing Dynamax for uh, Little Cup. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it. Dynamax for Little Cup because these are like level awesome. five. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I would say it's going to make it the Pokemon overpowered. Because I haven't tested it out yet. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be overpowered. I just feel like. If. Like saying like Smogon took these. Like the whole concept of Dynamax. Out of their. Uh, server. For doing like. Mm -hmm. Team building and whatnot. I don't think they will probably do the safety for. That for like. Little Cup because it makes it seem like it's overpowered. I mean, you probably take out three Pokemon before you. On Dynamax, you might get two boosts off of that before you. Mm -hmm. Who knows that you can no, survive a Dynamax anyway? Like, yeah. I had to test run that. Yeah. And then I also gotta test and see if, like, uh, because I know, like, last time I tested, like, level 50, whatever, like, there was people who had, like, Pokemon that was under level 50, wasn't level 50. So, I guess there's no flat rules on here mm -hmm. on Sword and Shield. So, that's a good thing, but still a bad thing on top of that. So, mm -hmm. again, I'll test it out and see if that like I'll test it out and see if uh Little Cup can handle Dynamax. That's the only way I could do is do a yeah. testing and see if that a possible thing before actually issuing any challenges or having to stream it on yeah. that. Um Is there anything else? There's got to be something else that I need to talk about. Uh, Kappa. Yeah. What about Kappa? Uh, the thing about Kappa, because again, like a like my channel is not a PG, but it's kind of PG, but it's not PG. It's not like. Hmm? <laughs> it's not meant for kids, but it, then it's like it's meant for kids, but it's not targeting kids. Yeah, um, you just, uh, according to Wonderbot, as long as you're not specifically targeting kids, you are fine. You don't have to worry about Kappa at all. 
You want me to link his video? Uh... Because he gives some really good insight. Not to the chat of your stream or anything. I'm saying, like, physically DM you in Discord and show you it. I know how to make my content not targeting kids, but it's like, it's more like if I cuss in the video, there you go, yo, simple as that. Basically, that's basically what I have to do. And I don't want to always do that, but that's the case. Yeah. And then there's other games that I play that's just generally not for kids. So, Look, yeah. And um uh, that's that's how I take it is okay, what could me bypass it? Oh, go ahead and cuss because that's the only way you could generally bypass it basically. Yeah. Or have a shirt that seems not suitable for kids. Or have a binny that's not suitable for kids in your video. Mm-hmm. Wear that, and then there you go. Not suitable for kids. I might not get the uh, you know monetized because technically I haven't reached the 1,000 subscriber count. But hey, this is the only way I generally would not get you know targeted by Kappa because. Mm-hmm. That's that's how I feel about that, and since it is 2020, this is where Kappa is now set to be trying to check videos and making sure videos are not suitable for targeting kids. Again, this is where I'm put into that position of now yeah. I gotta start cussing my videos more now. Haha, <laughs> wear like unsafe for work type shirts and beanies, I guess. Yee, yee. Oh, but that's kind of all I wanted to really talk about, Kappa, about that, basically. Um, I'll prob- I'm probably going to stream a little bit after this. I have no uh, idea what I'm going to stream, but... I mean, I also feel like streaming, but I don't know what else to stream to you. Uh, because I want to play Call of Duty, and I want to stream Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. But I kind of want to wait until uh, the Kingdom Hearts to come out for their DLZ. And probably stream that. Because I want to stream that more than I want to stream Call of Duty. Have Oh uh, yeah, you already got the proof of promises and the proof of time's end. Yeah, I mean, I still need to... No, because I still need to get the uh, all the stickers. I still haven't got all the stickers yet. All the lucky emblems? Yeah, I haven't got all the lucky emblems yet. I'm still kind of like halfway down. Done, almost done. I think I need like a couple more worlds All to go through. Like that. Yeah. But I think once I get all of those before the DLC does come out, that I'll be ready to stream it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm trying. I'm on the Caribbean world right now. Mm-hmm. So, I so mean, if I stream, I'll probably will stream that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, it's nothing really else to talk about, I guess. I think we said all we need to say. Stormtrooper wasn't on, and uh, I don't know, like. Again, I think he's really excited that Blastoids is coming back. I mean, he won't get Blastoids yet, but I'm pretty sure he's happy that Blastoids is technically in the game. 
and you mm-hmm. probably won't get it into like June when they finally released the Gigantamax version for it. They might, you know what? They might release all the starters, but I highly doubt it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure once the the expansion pack does release, that's the only way you can get the starters. Yeah. And that means they're going to also, we're going to be rating uh, other starters as well. That means we're going to be, I guess, rating uh, the new Sword and Shield starters as well to get G-Max starters. Mm-hmm. So that's also going to be a thing as well. And that's going to be cool to do, I guess. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's pretty, pretty dope. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that kind of still kind of sucks for Pokemon Home. Knowing the fact that mm-hmm. we're going to get this software in February, but we're still not going to be able to use it most of these Pokemon into the expansion pack. Yeah. And when they say like it's 200 plus, I feel like they're explaining it because there's the Alolan version of the Pokemon as well that mm-hmm. is now going to be available in the game as well. So, mm. or the originals that we have from Kanto is also going to be in the game as well. Like saying, um, like Meowth, original Meowth is going to be in the game. We already have that. Mm -hmm. We have original Persian that's going to eventually appear up in the game. We're also going to have Alolan Meowth that's going to appear up in the game. We're also going to have Alolan Persian appear up in the game. Mm -hmm. And this is not going to be part of the uh, DLC expansion. This is going to be because of Pokemon Home is going to be here in February and we already have the fact that Meowth and Persian and the Galar versions of the the two are already in the game so they're just going to be there because the data is already there for them Mm -hmm. but any other Pokemon that's generally just not in the game won't be in the game but we're, that's, I guess that's in a way that's why they're saying we're going to get 200 plus Pokemon is because home is going to allow us to get half of that and then the other 200 plus once the DLC comes out Mm-hmm. which is again good and sucks at the same time yeah all right, I think we got all our information out and whatnot. And uh, another situation that I, I feel like I also need to mention: Stormtrooper Blastoid's birthday is today, so happy birthday to him! Yeah, happy so, birthday! Too bad he can't make it. Too bad he cannot make it onto the podcast today. But hey, it's his birthday. I hope he's having a fun time on his birthday. And eventually, it's going to be eventually my birthday soon. Eventually. Since I'm kind of in the same year, like the same uh, month as Sword Trooper Blastoid. So, can't wait till my birthday kicks off. Yay. That's going to be fun. It's going to be fun indeed. (laughs) Um... But yeah, see you guys. Thanks for uh, chaotic for coming out. And sure. again, see you guys on the next podcast. See you when I start streaming, or if you are you know following or subscribe to uh, chaotic on his streaming platform or YouTube. Make sure to go on to there and check out his content and whatnot. And, uh, again, uh, go ahead and scroll back to the like button. Put your squirtle shades on and say awesome, guys. Bye.